We are in Arms Express. Oh, I love upper days. Okay, we are gonna build some muscle today. We're gonna have you looking amazing in your tank tops. And you know what? All it takes is 15 minutes. We are gonna blast it. Biceps, triceps, shoulders, back, chest, shoulder. Did I say shoulders? We're gonna get it all. Shoulders are my favorite. We can't miss those. If I said it, we'll say it again. Okay, we're gonna get it all done. So just do some torso rotations with me. Elbows are up. I'm just turning that back foot in behind tighten up the core warm up the spine you know what we always use the core in everything that we do let's get it warm good here we go just one more each side wonderful all right just plant those feet nice big shoulder circles big arm circles circling them back just feeling the heat coming into the shoulders into the arms nice let's circle them forward we got a lot of work to do look at my look at my weights I have a lot of weights with me today. I hope you do as well. Light, medium, and heavy. We're gonna use them all. All right, big chest huggers. So open and then give yourself some love. Open and close it. Give yourself some love at some chest huggers. Feels good, wonderful. It's not an intensity day today. It's just a lifting day. Two rounds of work, three moves in each. We're in triple sets. We're gonna do each one two times through. Same timing as usual. 30 seconds on, 15 seconds of rest. Okay, hands up, tilt it side. Oh, cause it feels good. And to the other side. Good, good, good. Just one more each and then we're ready to go. And here comes the last one. All right, wonderful, shake that out. Okay, three exercises first. They are bicep curls, back flies, bird dog crunch. We gotta get some core in there for fun, right? Cool, all right, so choose your weights, light, medium, heavy weights, we got a bit of everything. For the bicep curls, choose a good medium weight. I'm gonna show you all three of these moves and then we'll, go, and then we'll start the timer and go through them all. All right, with the bicep curl, pick a good medium weight. Key here is the elbows always stay pinned under the shoulders. So many people swing their elbows like forward and back as they go. I want you to keep your biceps pressing into your side the whole time, chest is lifted, shoulders are down, curling it up, no movement through the upper body. You're gonna notice today, we're gonna actually move slowly because I think control up, control down is the best part in muscle building. There's no momentum, there's no swinging. No, 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 not today. Okay, next move is gonna be a back fly, light weights for the back fly. All right, so I want you to think like you have Barbie doll arms. They have a slight bend. Barbie doll arm, elbows are bent, but they don't move, right? So there's no movement in the elbow joint. Okay, so it's like a Barbie doll arm. We're gonna hinge forward. All we're gonna do from behind the shoulder blades is squeeze those shoulder blades together and then control back down. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, control back down. That's your back fly. We're working the upper back, really squeezing in, like spreading your wings, and then control. Staying in a hinge the whole time. Move number three, and then we're gonna get started. Join me on the ground for move number three. We're in all fours. Um, we're gonna reach the right arm forward, the left leg back. All we're gonna do is extend into a tabletop, really think fingertips forward, toes away, and then we're gonna crunch it in, bringing your knee and your elbow in together, firing up the core, and then extend back out. Round number one will be on the right, round number two will be on the left. It's opposite arm to leg. All right, that was enough talking. I'm ready to go, I'm ready to lift. Bicep curls first. Pick up a good, a good weight. Let's build some buys. We go in three, in two, let's go. Palms are forward, elbows are in. Press your biceps into your ribs. Now watch the timing. It's up, up and down, down. Up, up and down, down. No swinging, no swaying, no momentum. I like kickstanding my feet. You'll notice one foot is behind the other. It helps to control any sway. It's only six seconds left. Up, up and down, two and one, rest. Wonderful, okay, changing out your weights. You can shake out your arms if you need. Picking up the lighter weights for the back flies. All right, we're gonna hinge forward, Barbie doll arms. Hinge forward, let's go. Up, up and down, control. Do not let gravity take over and down. You're just pulling those weights up so they're in line with the shoulders and then they control down, up, up, and down, 
down. No swinging. It is just constant movement, constant tempo. They never stop. Yeah, up, up, six seconds, down, down. We're almost there, up, up, and down, and rest. All right, weights down, join me on the ground. On all fours, please. Right arm, left leg, core is braced. Wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips. We go in three, in two, let's go. Extend out, and then crunching it in. So we are working here the posterior chain. Your lower back, your booty, <laughs> your hamstrings. Here we go, extend, and then crunching it in. And here is core. Extend, it is balance, it is stability. If you're falling all over the place, it's all right, this takes practice. This takes practice. Just keep working at it. We have four, three, we got two, and we got one on your feet. Nice, okay, so that was our first set. We're going back to the bicep curls. Eight seconds to catch your breath. We go again. Choose your weights. If that first set didn't challenge you, up your weights. If you needed to swing to get them up, they were too heavy. All right, so be smart with your weight selection. And always be challenging yourself. Like, the weight that you use today for this move is probably not the same weight you're gonna use in a month. Challenge yourself. You're gonna get stronger, yes? As soon as it's like, oh, that was it? You gotta up those weights, my friend. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Wonderful, nice and slow. Don't give up, don't give up. Even though the timer is up, I'm not losing the end, because that's like, oh, that's the good stuff. Back flies, lighter weights. Picking them up. All right, always stay in a hinge forward. Let's go. Up, up, and down. So I'm looking down at the ground. My head, neck, spine, it's all in a neutral, flat position. My core is braced and I'm controlling these weights up and controlling them down. You can even think about leading up with your elbows, but remember, there's no movement in the elbow joints. So they're not coming in. They're not like, I don't know, doing anything weird. I don't wanna do it. <laughs> Two and one and rest. All right, one more move into our bird dog crunch. Other arm this time, left arm, right leg. First, get into your solid tabletop position. Core is braced, it's pressing into your spine. Let's go. So think long, long, and I'm not coming up to here. I'm not crunching, it's just a tabletop and then crunching it in. And think longer, fingertips one way, toes the other way, get longer, and then crunch it in. This is so good for your body. Extend and crunching it in. We got 10 seconds left. Oh, extend, it should feel amazing. And crunch, so good for you. Three, two, and one. Whew. All right, you can drop to child's pose for a moment. We're in a break. Round number one is done. That was awesome. All right, so that was back and buys. We're going into chest, shoulders, and tries. We just did our pull moves. We're going into our push. Okay, breathe, rest, recover. I'm gonna demo and show you the next three moves. You can grab some hydration if you need. Shoulder press, chest press, finishing it up with everyone's favorite, the tricep push-up. <laughs> okay, so shoulder press. Gonna grab a good weight here. All right, loading up those weights right above the shoulders. Elbows should be about in line with your armpits. This is not our starting position. It is here. We press it up and then we pull, 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 pull. We press, keep the shoulders down, and then we pull on down. It is controlled the whole time. It's not a power up and a let it drop down. It's controlled. And the more you think about pressing your shoulders down, the better it's going to work, my friends. All right. Chest press. Hang on. I got to move this out of the way. I got to lie down. Okay. Chest press. For this one, you're going to grab heavy weights. I'm just going to grab these just because they're sitting here so I can demo a little quicker. Okay. All you're going to do here, palms are facing forward. You're lying on your back. Elbows are at a bit of an angle, so they're not like out in your shoulders. They're actually in line with your chest. You're going to press it up, up, and then down, down. And just before they touch the ground, they go up again. Again, it's all about that tempo. All right. But don't use eight pounds for that. You need a little heavier than that. I'm going to be in my 20s for my chest press. Okay. Final move is the tricep push-up. Totally okay to be on your knees. 
Let's just start with that. Okay, I will do a few on my toes and then I'm on my knees. All right, so you want your hands in nice and close. Look how close they are. Sometimes you can even make like a diamond shape with it. That's cool. And they should be under the chest. Okay, so my hands are not like out here. They're actually under. Brush your elbows along your side and then press back up. Now, if you've never done a tricep push-up before, you might get to here. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Every time you do it, you'll get a little deeper and a little bit deeper. And it is purely focused right in here. That's where you want all of the push coming from. So the hands are not out in front. They're pulled down lower. On your feet. You got to go. <laughs> Shoulder press. It is time. Timer says it's time. Picking them up. All right. We go in two. We go in one. Let's go. Up. Up and down. Remember, the key is keeping those shoulders pressing down. Up, up, and down. Pressing them down. Control the tempo. Really pull. It's a press and a pull. We had 10 seconds to go. Whew, it's working. Up and down. We are sculpting beautiful muscles. Three, two, and one, and rest. Nice. All right, picking up the big weights. I'm gonna go a little heavier. Okay, here we go. Chest press. All right, over the chest, not over the face, not over the neck. Everything tracks over the chest. Let's go. Up, up, and down. Core is braced. Really feel every single vertebrae in your spine pressing into the ground, controlling that tempo. Up, up, and down, down. It's delicious. 10 seconds left, down, down. It's up, up, control. Elbows are angling a little bit back. Wonderful. We have two and one and rest. Nice. All right, let's move these weights out of the way. Tricep push-ups, please, flipping it over. Putting those hands, your hand placement is so key. Hand placement and elbows brushing your side. Let's go. Knees or toes. It's totally cool. This is a hard push-up. Keeping your neck long, shoulders down, just feeling all the work right in the back, right in here. This is where all of the push is coming from. And the control down and up. You got this. Down. We have five more seconds. Down and up. Two and one and Whew. Okay, round one is done. Super quick child's pose to stretch because we got to go again on your feet. Come on, it's only 15 minutes. Picking up your shoulder press weights. It's only 15 minutes. Let's keep the party on. Two and one. Let's go. Up, up. I should feel a little heavier now. Up, up. After all the work we have done. Up, up. At any point, if you need to change your weights, go for it. Whew. And down, down, up, up, 10 seconds. Just breathing through it, up. Mine are getting really heavy. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and one. Control. Whew. All right, we did it. I was questioning it. I almost had to drop my weight. All right, down we go. Chest press. I'm gonna stick with the heavies. I'm gonna stick with the big boys. All right. Onto your back. Let's go. Everything is lined up with the chest. All right. Work in the chest. So you want to keep those elbows, when they come down, they should still be at about 90 degrees. They're not like bending all the way in. We're not in a rest position. All right. We got this. 12 seconds. Whew. We are getting it done in 15 minutes. Yeah, we are. All of the arm muscle groups. Three. Two and one. Beautiful. All right, final move. Tricep push ups. Finish strong. You got this. You and me, we're in this together. From your knees, from your toes, as long as you have your hands down low, elbows brushing your side. Three, two, let's go. Also, I want to point out, even if you are on your knees, we're not like here with your hips up. Your hips are still tucked under. Yes, shoulders are down, neck is long. Brush those elbows along your side and pressing it up. Brush those elbows and press it up. Whew. All right, we have, we have, we have, we have six seconds. 
We're almost there. We're almost there. We're just about at 15 minutes. Let's finish it. And last one. Whew. Child's pose and stretch. Oh, we did it, my friends. Arms should be feeling pumped. It's only 15 minutes. It's all we need. We got it all done. All right, child's pose. So I want you in an active child's pose position. Your booty's resting down on your heels, if you can, walking your fingertips away from you. Okay, so you feel the stretch through your shoulders, through your spine. Just breathe through it. Wonderful. Taking one arm, tucking it under the other, getting a fabulous shoulder stretch, pressing down lower and lower and lower, walking those fingertips out away from you. Amazing. Changing arms, please. Whew, that was so much fun. I love lifting. I love it so much. All right, here we go. Is it going to give you, I know ladies always worry, I don't want to lift, I'm going to get big bulky muscles. No, you won't. You won't. Just nice sculpt, sculpted and toned arms. Okay, wonderful. Let's start making our way to our feet. Okay, feet go wide. Just hang here for a minute. Stretch out through the spine, through the hamstrings. Good. All right, bend those knees, hands on your thighs, rolling it up nice and slow. One vertebrae at a time. Delicious. All right, tricep stretch. So pull on your elbow. You want to reach that hand to the center of your back. Oh, that was so good. Tricep stretch. Tricep push-ups. Yeah, we did them. We did them. <laughs> How was your range of motion in your tricep push-ups? How was it? Answer me. Answer me. How was your range of motion? Yeah? Keep practicing. I promise it'll get better. All right, shake it out. Palms together, chin to your chest, reaching those fingertips forward, opening in the spine. Amazing from those back flies. <laughs> Open it up. Okay, last stretch. Let's open up the chest. Open up the biceps. Pull those knuckles to the ground, standing tall and proud. And just know that you're doing so awesome. Just feel good. Wonderful. Shake that out. Nice big deep breath. And out. And just one more. And I am so excited to see you in our very next workout. Keep pressing play. Keep being awesome.